Hey gang, Alex Sabian coming at you, and uh, we are going to cover uh, our expectations of you, the things that you need to do so that we can help you achieve your financial dreams and goals, all right? And so here's what, um, here's the basis of, the really the foundational basis of this is, number one, you've got to figure out what it is you want. What do you want to accomplish financially? And even, and even more than that, you know, what kinds of dreams and goals do you have that you believe this business will help you achieve? So you really got to know what you want. The second thing you got to know is when do you want it? When do you want to achieve the different um, uh, dreams and goals that you have, you know, incrementally along the way? Like over the next 90 days, where do you want to be? The next six months, the next year, the next five years, where do you want to be financially? And then the third thing is, what are you willing to give up to get it? In other words, this business and anything that you want to accomplish will involve sacrifice. You're going to have to sacrifice time, um, money, emotion. You're going to have to invest it in order to get what it is you want from this business. So you're going to have to reprioritize things that you're doing currently. Your time, um, things you're doing with your money, things you're doing um, with your priorities in order to make this a priority for you. Uh, to make this business work for you, okay? But here's the thing, you can do this thing. You can kill it. Look, if I can do it <laughs> with this hair, <laughs> then I know you can do it too. Absolutely, you can do it. So there's nothing that separates you from me other than how long I've been in it, the books I've read, the people I've associated with, uh, my mentors like Andy Albright who I've listened to, and the, and the books I've read, all those things really have um, allowed me to achieve my success. And if I promise you, if you do the same thing, walk down the same road that I've walked down, then you can achieve that same kind of success as well. So here's the first thing that we recommend um, that you do. First one is be a good listener. That's the basic thing that um, everything else falls on, is that I don't make a dime until you make a dollar. So everything that I recommend to you is only going to be in your best interest to help you achieve your financial dreams and goals. If I tell you anything wrong that would hurt you, then I'm hurting myself and my family. And I'm not into hurting myself and my family, I'm into helping myself and my family, so in order to help them, financially help my family achieve our financial goals and dreams, I have to put you ahead as a priority to help you achieve your financial goals and dreams first. So if I help you get what you want, then I get what I want. So that is really the premise of being a good listener. Okay. So what kind of financial goals are we talking about? Well, why would you even want to listen if you don't have anything that you want to accomplish? And so that's the thing about um, knowing what it is you want. Where do you want to be financially? And more than just financially on an income level, what do you, where do you need to be as far as achieving your dreams? You know, what does that money equate to in terms of what you want for you and your family? Is it to get out of debt? Is it to wipe out all your student loans so you can live comfortably and no longer have to worry about making those payments? Or, or making or deciding who gets paid every month, right? Maybe it's uh, giving your kids any choice in the country and the world of where they want to go to college because money's not an object. Maybe it's taking care of aging parents. Maybe they have to live with you. So maybe you can build a wing to your house so you can have uh, uh, opportunity to take care of them instead of farming them out to some nursing home, okay? Um, maybe it's not having to live from paycheck to paycheck anymore and, and having that comfortable feeling like money is not a problem. Maybe it's traveling wherever you want, picking up and just taking off because you have a weekend free and it, money's no object. You could pay $1,000 per ticket to fly somewhere exotic. You got your passport and just go. Wouldn't that be cool just to pick up and go? Um, how about this? How about driving a car? that's under 100,000 miles. <laughs> that was one of my biggest dreams, is to actually buy a brand new car, right? And um, that had that new car smell that would actually start every time you turn the key 
and would actually stop when you turned the key off. How about that? Maybe it's having a new home in a nicer neighborhood. Maybe in a nicer neighborhood where the school district is a top-notch school district for your children. Or how about this? Being able to send your kids to private school instead of public school. How about having those kind of choices? Uh, maybe it's actually being able to afford health care, right? Not caring whether or not your full-blown medical insurance plan is seven, eight hundred, a thousand dollars a month because you have the money to, to afford the best health care program that uh, money can buy. How about that? So no matter what it is, you need to figure out what those big dreams and goals are and then what we're going to do is we're going to help you put a game plan together in achieving those because all those equate to a monthly income, weekly income amount and that's what we're here for to help you get there. Okay. Bottom line is you need to figure out in order to listen to my recommendations to make it worth your while you need to figure out what it is you want and, and it has to be strong enough motivation that you're going to do everything in your power to make it work. It's got to be emotional. You know, you can't get emotional over, you know, a stack of $100 bills um, every week. Well, I mean, some of you might be able to. But those stack of $100 bills, $1,000 bills equate to sending your kids to private school. You know, something that's concrete that is emotional for you to achieve. Maybe it's bringing your spouse home from work so they no longer have to dress up for another man called the boss and you can just bring her home and she can just work at raising the children. What about that? Whatever will motivate you to overcome whatever obstacles are in your way. And the obstacles can be little, they can be big, but no matter what the obstacle is, that you have strong enough motivation to achieve what it is you need to achieve in this business so that those obstacles are overcomable. You know, where you have the whatever it takes attitude because you want what you want so bad that you will not be denied no matter what. And that's how we help you um, to listen to our recommendations because if you want something bad enough, then you're going you're gonna to listen to me because I'm going to help you, all right? Because I cannot benefit until I help you achieve those. And that's what I'm in business for. That's my mission in life. That's why God put me on this earth to help each and every one of you out there achieve your financial dreams and goals. And I love that part of this business. So I hope that uh, that makes sense to you. The other thing about being a good listener is to be open with me as far as your current financial situation. So during our conversations of game planning, what it is you need to do next, I will need to know eventually how much do you need to live on a monthly basis? What is your bottom line, your nut that you need to cover every month so that all the bills are paid and you can then think about what to get via get what to make beyond that. Okay. So what do you need to live? The second one is what do you want to make? And that's equate that equates to your goals and dreams. What more are you willing to do? What more are you willing to sacrifice investing time, energy, emotion, okay, and money in order to get those financial dreams and goals. So what do you have to make in order to get that? And, and it's incremental. So 90 days from now, what do you need to make every week? Um, six months from now, a year from now, five years from now, okay? And then the other thing that, uh, that maybe some of you haven't even thought about is what kind of income do you want to make? Do you want to make the instant sales income only, or do you want to start making permanent income through building an agency and earning overrides. Overrides on agents that you put in business, that you've recruited, recruited, plugged them into us, we teach them, train them, they become productive and you start earning you know, 5%, 10%, 55% overrides on their business. And that's called permanent income. Okay, so what type of money do you want to make? When you know those things, then we're going to put the game plan um, for you to get those things. So this is what happens. The game plan involves a four-letter word we call work. Okay, so that's number two. Work. So in, other, in order to determine how much work you can do, you need to figure out how much time you have to put into the business on a weekly basis. How many hours a week are you going to commit to make your financial dreams and goals come true. And some of you might already have jobs, and so the job may be a limiting factor, but it's, look, that's something you have to deal with. We don't recommend you quitting your job. 
keep your job for now, and we will help you work around your job, around other commitments you might have, with whatever time you have left in order to uh, make this business work. I had a guy who was um, who worked like um, 12 hours a day for four days, and then he only had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to make this business work. He worked those three days, this business, and he was making about 80000 a year, and he earned an all-expense-paid award trip. Okay, and, that, and he was working as a, a tool maker. Okay, so he wasn't even in a, a profession, professional job situation. So this business can work for you even if you have a li limited amount of time. So how much time do you have every week to put towards this business? The, thing, the other thing about work is what is the environment in terms of support for you, um, in terms of really your spouse? What is your is your spouse totally on board with what you're doing? Is he or she totally supportive of you supportive of you taking time away from the family in order to pursue this for the family? Okay? If your spouse is supporting you, God bless you. That is so awesome. Get down on your knees right now and just thank the Lord, okay? Now, sometimes your spouse may not be on board with it one hundred percent. Maybe they're taking a wait and see attitude. Let's see what Alex um, can do before I decide I'm all in for this. Well, hey, that's up to you. It's up to you to prove that this is gonna work. So you gotta work like there's no tomorrow in order to prove to your spouse that this thing is the real deal, okay? The one thing that I'd recommend for you in order to help your spouse get positive about it is get, bring her to a meeting, one of our hotspot meetings, um, our major functions, maybe a war party, one of those meetings for her or him to get a chance to meet the people in the business. I promise you, if they get a chance to meet the people in the business, I don't know how they couldn't get affected by how positive and, and um, loving these people are. I mean, we truly are a family. And this is an opportunity for you to bring your spouse to be involved in your business together, that they feel ownership in what it is you're doing and what you're accomplishing for the family. And nothing like bring them, bringing them around our family, the Alliance family. And I think you have a great opportunity to bring them on board if you can get them to something, okay? The other thing to help your spouse get on board is to um, help plan, help them or have them help you put the weekly schedule together on when you plan on doing this business so that you can honor them and the family in your schedule as well. They see where you've got time marked out to have a cup of coffee with your spouse, you know, just to catch up on the week. Or maybe you're dating your spouse that week, so she knows Friday night's all you, right? Or maybe it's time with the kids, you know, so that she or he knows that you're devoted to your family and you're going to spend time in your schedule with them so that you can work your business around those um, opportunities. And that's another great way to get your spouse involved. Okay, the other part of the work aspect of this is schedule. You're going to have to come up with a schedule and we're going to have to help you. Okay, We're going to help you come up, this, up with a schedule on when you're going to schedule, when you're going to dial the phone to book appointments, when are you going to run appointments. Um, on the recruiting and building side, when are you going to fit in recruiting interviews on your calendar to interview prospective agents. And we do have a training module on the schedule side, so you're going to be reviewing that the next little bit so that you know how to develop a calendar and then we're going to help you game plan what's in that calendar. So that's the second thing. The third thing is called association. The power of association. So that's number three. Here's what association is. You become like the people you hang out with. That works positive and it works negative. The, the negative part is if you hang around broke people, all broke people can do for you is teach you how to be broke. Okay, negative people can only teach you how to be more negative, right? But if you change your association to positive people that are moving somewhere in their life, people that are achieving financial their financial dreams and goals, then by hanging around them, you're going to learn how they make those decisions in their lives to change from where they are to where they're going. And by you hanging around these people and listening to what they're doing and how they're doing it, there's no, there's, uh, there's no way you can't um, start achieving their same attitude and their work effort, ethic to, in order to achieve what it is you want to do. Okay, Kind of birds of a feather mentality. Or it's like your children. 
do you want your children to hang around losers and, and criminals? You know, because they're going to end up being like that. Or do you want your kids hanging around successful children that are, you know, involved in sports and great students and they're moving on in life? You know, if it works for your children, why wouldn't it work for you? Okay, so that's an important thing about association. Hang around the people that are moving on the business. Okay, so the first level of association is associating with your upline manager. And you're, in many of you out there, in your case, it's me. Okay, calling me all the time, especially when you're starting the training process. You're going to have a lot of questions. Um, I'm going to coach you on how to book appointments, how to overcome objections. I'm going to coach you on every appointment that you're going to go on, or your upline manager will coach you on every appointment, before every appointment, what to do, what to bring with you, how to prepare for that appointment, the product that will fit that particular client. We're going to prepare you for everything. So the first level of association is with your upline growing manager who is vested in, totally vested in your success. Okay, so you have to communicate with us. Uh, like my top agents, they talk to me all the time, every day, several times a day sometimes, in order to help them move forward quickly through the experiential part of the business, the on-the-job training, the booking of appointments and running their first appointments. You know, down the road, they don't need to call me as much, but I am there for them. I don't care how late, it could be midnight, 3 in the morning, I don't care, I'm awake, okay, so I'm there to help. And if I can't pick up the phone, I promise you I will dial you back and find out what I can do to help you, okay. So hopefully that totally makes sense. Um, the second level of association is attending our hotspot meetings. That's our weekly training session that we do uh, once a week, um, typically from 7 o'clock to 10.30 p.m. at night. And then if a top 10, 15, 20 manager comes into a, a hotspot city, uh, they'll do a 2 to 5 boot camp training session and then do the 7 to 10.30 in the evening. So you'll have a, like a double bonus there with a top 15 manager coming in. How you find out when the next local meeting is to you is to go to naahotspots.com. Again, that's www.naahotspots.com. Com. Okay. The other way that we associate is through our conference call system. We have a TWC, which stands for the Wednesday call, a TWC conference call on Wednesdays from 12.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, and that's currently what we're doing now. The TWC could change to another date or time. Again, what you would do is you would um, keep your ear to the ground. We always make give send out reminder emails on when the TWC is. Right now it's Wednesday from 12.30 to 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesdays. Then we have a Thursday product training call from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Again, currently that's when we're doing it. Then we do what we call an activity call on Fridays from 10 a.m. to 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And so those are the three main calls that we do on a national basis. And then finally, the other conference call that you need to plug into is your upline manager's conference call. In, in my case, we currently do our agency training or our agency weekly agency conference calls at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays. Okay, so those are ways of learning, associating, um, to get educated, to get fired up, to get motivated, to get around the people that are making this thing happen, and they're very inspiring at times. They're very educational at times. Okay, they're very emotional at times. It is. It'll give you something. For no matter who you are out there, you're going to pick something out of it that will help you. Okay. Then finally, we have major functions. We have four major functions a year, two national and two regional, starting with our January National Convention, which is the Big Daddy Convention, where we do major recognition and training to celebrate the previous calendar year. That's usually done in January, and that's a national conference, so it's usually in one location where everyone flies in to get around. It's usually on a uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Friday afternoon starting at 1 o'clock till about noon on Sunday. And then there's uh, some other pre-training things like uh, um, the lead certification class or annuity training that's typically done either Thursday afternoon or Friday morning um, so that we can help um, assist you with additional education should you want to uh, sign up for it. Then we do a spring forward function. That's more of a regional function Right now we're doing them in two cities around the country uh, and 
so it's, it'll be a little bit closer for you if you're flying into it. A spring forward is typically done April, May time frame. Then we do a national conference in July called LeadCon, okay, Leadership Convention. That's July during the summertime. Again, that's one location for everyone around the country to uh, come out and same kind of schedule, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then we do a fall forward, which is somewhere around October, okay, and that's a regional function. So there'll be maybe two, maybe even three or four cities, but right now there are two cities that we have agents come out and get a chance to get training, motivation, inspiration, association, okay? So those are the, more, the most important ways to associate. And then the, the fourth thing, the fourth thing is you've got to be willing to change, okay? That's probably the most difficult thing that we as human beings have to do is to grow, getting rid of previous habits and changing our habits to new habits that are more um, healthy, healthy, um, financially, healthy spiritually, healthy emotionally, healthy with the relationships with your family, and so on. And so it's always a process of changing, changing from where you are today to where you want to be. Changing your habits, changing what you're doing. So for example, one element of change is if you've ever been in a sales system before, sold life insurance or whatever it is you've sold before, what you're going to have to do is leave all that behind and learn our sales system, okay? The best thing you can bring into what we do is your personality, your awesome positive attitude, your people skills that you possess prior to coming on board with, uh, with us, and then we'll teach you way more um, uh, or ways to enhance your people skills so that you can um, make more sales and relate to people better. So whatever you're doing in sales before, learn our way and assume that our way works best until we prove otherwise, okay? The other thing that um, maybe you have to change is instead of listening to ESPN radio in your car, maybe you put in one of our audio CDs that teaches you how to help a client better in the home. Maybe it's a product training CD. Maybe it's a way to overcome objections on booking appointments. Maybe it's a, uh, a spin on how to find um, the pain in the ATM presentation when you're sitting down with the client. Okay, how to find their need. All right, so instead of listening to ESPN radio, in the car you stick in an audio CD um, with um, one of our myriad of training CDs. If you're used to watching American Idol on TV, instead of watching TV um, on stuff that won't help you become successful with us, why don't you read a book? We've got success principle books, self-improvement um, books, attitude books, positive mental attitude books, a myriad of books that is designed to help you become successful. So instead of plugging into the TV, why don't you plug into a book? Why don't you read Andy Albright's two books, Eight Steps to Success and The Millionaire Maker Manual. Those books, you got to read right off the bat, because that's my mentor and friend, Mr. Andy Albright, who's laid all this out for us in the Alliance. So why not read those books? instead of watching TV, okay? Maybe you're in a bowling league, okay, on Tuesday nights. Instead of going to bowling league, um, why not go to a hot spot meeting on Tuesday night, okay? See what I'm saying? So you're gonna have to change the habits of what you've been used to doing and sacrifice that time into doing what we're doing to become successful. So that's a very important element of change, changing your habits. In order to change the direction of your financial future, you need to change what you're doing every day from what got you to your current situation to a new set of habits to get you out of your current situation to a better and brighter financial future. All right? So that is what we expect of you, that you're willing to listen, work, associate, and change. And if you can do that, if you can um, uh, uh, incorporate those elements that I mentioned, then we're, you're going to allow us to help you maximize this opportunity for you so that you can make this business work um, sooner than later, faster than slower. And uh, on the next video, we're going to teach you what, what you need to do next. All right, gang. So Alex Avian, out. Rock on.